Okay, so you can cross over here. How's that going? Now, I don't remember the way to share your horses, but once we get you know strong enough, we'll come back and clear out some of the other bosses. I don't know if I'll beat them all. I don't think I'll be beating them all. I just want to at least beat the game. Which I think's pretty fair. Okay, that's a bonfire I want to grab. So we're going to have to go through here, which is not exactly easy. I got gangbang. Fuck that spot. I just got gangbang. Well, I put myself in that corner somewhere. Not my fault. you dude seriously nobody loves you Get to live today, butterfly. Only because I can't be bothered to turn around and worry about it. Hello. Clear this area. I am passing up that thing because it's a lane. Dude, just go away. Oh, mama, don't even love you. Why on dead?
Let's kill the boss first. Then we can come back and uh, fart around with that. I'm playing butterflies. The hell is that? I don't even know what that is. It's weird though. Oh. Oh crap. Check over equipment. Uh, I think we're good. See the human effigy. The health boost. All right, boss in. Whew. This one's gonna be a fun one. One at a time. Where are little skeletons? Where are they? They're there. I got one. Alright, that one's gone. Alright, it's not that one, it's the other one I want to kill first. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, you. Cool. 
regular skeletons. Next one. Alright. Okay. Oh, hi. I didn't even know you were behind me. Can you guys stop? No. Okay, that's that one. Back up a little bit. Okay. Alright. I need to stop now. Okay. Bath? You little fucking bastard! Go away! Alright, it's another one down. Another one down. Another one down. You're down. Or you're down. Oh, I'm not, Nomad. I'm not. I know the way to kite these guys. Leave this guy for last because there's only the two bone wheels. And two bone wheels, they don't like tracking around these towers. So, uh, it makes it really easy. I did this before when I was trying to just record it for YouTube, and this part became really freaking easy once I, um, learned. But, uh, I have a lot stronger weaponry than I did before. So, where are you? Oh, hi. Nope. Oh. Ah. Oh, nope, never mind. Whoa. Got one. All right, one. Whoop. Pop a couple of these. And done. Ba boom. Ah, seventh boss I've beaten with just a bow. Ah. Let's continue on to the Harvest Valley, which I need to get to to get Gavlon again. Sell what I can to Gavlon, and then get him moving to Doors of Pharos, where I can meet up with him. And have them as a permanent shop. Thank you. Thank you for the GG's. I'm actually really enjoying this challenge. I've beaten Elden Ring bow only. I've beaten Dark Souls 1 do do bow only. Now for Dark Souls 2. Then Dark Souls 3. And I'm also going to record doing it again. I'm going to do Elden Ring bow only. But I'm going to do it with the Convergence mod. <laughs> Which, if you don't know the Convergence mod, look it up. It's really awesome. Bows are severely overpowered in that mod. I mean, overpowered is crap in that mod. I love it so much. Uh, forgive me if I seem a bit out of it. 
I have had a total of like seven hours of sleep in the last two days. So I'm kind of out of it. And every time I hit my vape, it gives me a little bit of a sleep, a little bit of sleepiness. So I may mutter a little tiny bit. But if you're enjoying the content, uh, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, my, my plug for a little while. It was my least anticipated out of the from soft games but became one of my favorites especially yes i love i too love dark souls 2 and i can understand some of the hate behind it but i can't understand all of it because there's a lot of really really good stuff to love about this game there there's a lot of good stuff to love about this game I mean, the different creativity of the areas. Majula being the most beautiful of all the hub areas. But the different NPCs you can meet along the way and bring to town. Like, the nice lady over there and Grandma. I call her Grandma. She's my favorite. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we can level up here with these souls. Oh, I almost forgot to pop the, uh, pop the souls that I have. <laughs> uh, I'm at a good point where I can keep streaming just about every day. Uh, I won't be streaming uh, Saturday. Uh, my oldest son is coming over, and we're going to spend some time with him since I haven't seen him in a little while. Um, I usually stream... Uh, well, I had a preconceived idea that was bad for my friend's son before. Yeah, same here. Same here, Nomad. It really is the same for me. Everybody said, oh, Dark Souls 2 is so terrible. It's the worst one. I think it's the most beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's not as bright as the others, but it has a different feel, a different a core, core to it. To me, this feels more like Elden Ring. And I love Elden Ring so much. Elden Ring's probably my favorite, but then Dark Souls 2 is like, like right up at its waist in terms of my faves. Uh, I know one and three more, though, because I played them more, but... Um, did I get them? Yeah, I did. But it, it's a freaking terrific game. I beat it... I beat, I've only beaten Dark Souls 2 uh, one time, in reality, because I usually have stuff going on and forget about it. <laughs> uh, let's bump up our decks up to 44. <laughs> Uh, don't get attached to this longbow. We will not have it the entire game, maybe. Um, there's a bow in the... I think it's the castle? Uh, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 2. Uh, I wouldn't say one is my least favorite. Uh, I'd probably take switch one and three on your list and that probably be where i'm at three i didn't like as much but i'm gonna give it another i wouldn't say it's i wouldn't hate it wrong yeah you're right it is more nostalgic i would agree with that wholeheartedly it is a, a lot more nostalgic i've been playing these games uh would you like to know the reason why i got into souls games i'll ask you that Would you like to know why I got into them? I'll wait for your response on that one. Because if you want to know, if you don't want to know. If you don't want to know, that's fine too. Okay. So, my grandfather... Uh, passed away about eight years ago. Well, eight years next year, seven years this year, seven years ago. And I had a tough time dealing with it. And I had started watching a lot of people, like I think Lobos Jr. was the one I like, caught on to uh, playing Dark Souls 1. And I started watching, thought it was a neat game. And I just fell in love with the series because it helped me cope with my grandparents passing because I was taking care of them. For the last half a year of their life. They weren't really able to do much of anything. But I took care of them for the last. Uh, half a year of their lives. Or two years of their lives. 
and uh, Souls helped me get through the game, or helped me get through that. So I owe Souls games more than I do anything in my life. Mm. What should I show to you? Ooh! Oh, you fire dark magic! So there's going to be a lot of poison here, but there's some good items in here, too, that we're going to grab. I'm going to use the iron. I'm going to switch back to the wooden arrows for these guys. Good job. Let's get through. Ah. But. Oh, shoot. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh! Nope. Little fun tip. You don't deal as much damage if you, uh... If you, uh... Don't have enough stamina to cat to fire the bow. You'll still hit, but you won't do as much damage. Alright, so... I can run through and get these three... Yeah. Fading Soul and a Titanite Shard. Titanite Shard. Titanite Shard. Okay. Oh, I got poison. Fading Soul. Oh, okay, hi. Um... Use! Oh. The Fume Knight 2. I've never done the DLCs. Well, I never got that far in the DLCs. I... Started some of them, but I never got super far. I won't be doing the DLCs in this particular run. But I have plans to come back to do every DLC with the characters that I make. And run through the base game. If that makes sense. I just want to see if I can beat the base games um, uh, with a bow. Like I said, uh, forgive me if I'm sounding like I'm at, like a, like I'm drunk, but I'm just really, really, really tired. Oh man, there are so many items. It almost be worth it to die in this game. Poison throwing knives. Tight. Oh, I needed that one. Tight night chunk. Yay. Fading soul. Tight night shard. Fading soul. Uh, read that as soon as I get out of the uh, poison. Oh wow, it actually fades pretty quickly. Ooh, another chunk. Ooh. Oh, you're you're strong. Ah. Uh. Uh, you got the old Iron King. I think Fume Knight and Sir Alone. Uh, old Old Iron King is not DLC. He's one of the four primordials. But the other two, you are correct. Uh, Fume Knight, Sir Alone. Uh, that one green tra poison dragon. I know that one. Um... Oh, oh, I think you mean Old Ivory King. Old Ivory King. Yeah, I, I've seen the DLCs. I, I know 
I think I've gotten to Fume Night before. I think I have gotten to Fume Night, but I didn't beat him. Uh, I'm not saying I couldn't, it's just the character I had at the time was... Uh, I can't remember what character that was with even, to be honest with you. It was a while back. It was a while back. <laughs> I'm probably talking like five, six years ago. Something like that. During my first time playing this game. Whoop. Are right, you going to follow me? Oh, nope, nope. Uh, I think the DLC I have the most familiarity with would be probably the one with Fume Knight in it. Fume Knight, the one with Fume Knight, I think, is also the same one as Sir Alone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's Old Ivory King literally being part of the Gates of Hell or Portal or something. Hell and Ice Girl gonna help. Yes, yes. I remember watching a dude. What was he? I think he was doing consumables. No, it was either consum crossbow. It was either consumables or crossbow. Only, and he was trying to go through the DLCs, and he. I don't think he could beat Old Ivory King. I don't think he was able. Not with the, the setup he had. I mean, he put up a valiant effort, but I don't think he was able to. Because that's one thing I th I've thought about doing is a crossbow only challenge, too. Because the ones in Elden Ring are actually pretty good. Gavlon! I didn't know he was here! Gavlon, my buddy! I'll see how to you in just a sec. I didn't know you were here, Gavilan. I missed you. Gavilan, my buddy. I missed you. I'm... Uh, let's get rid of the shield. I don't know why I'm keeping the pyromancy tome. I just am. Uh, sell that. Sell that. Sell that, sell that. Sell everything I really don't need. I don't need that. HP and spell uses, German durability. Points are, ooh, I should, didn't even know about the poison resist. I, you can see how little, little I really do know about this game. I really need to play it way more. Because um, it, Dark Souls 2 is really fun. Some people say, oh, it's a terrible game. And no, no, it's, it's not really not a terrible game. It's just they might be playing it in the wrong way. Hey, it was nice chatting. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button uh, in case uh, you want to hit the stream probably tomorrow night or Sunday night, one of the two. But thank you for coming by. It was wonderful chatting with you. Let's look at someone. I I think those I need. Uh, I might keep that raw stone. Now, do you sell more? You do not sell more poison arrows. Really? I already bought this ring. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Sir or ma'am, I don't know. <laughs>